What's up, Patreon family? This is your girl, Megan, from the Hood Astro Queen. And today, I will be doing another continuation in my Pluto Through the Sign series. And this time, because this is being done in no particular order, I'm going to be discussing the effects of the generation Pluto and Leo, okay? These are your baby boomers. Okay, boomer. I know that's a real popular saying these days to refer to an older person as a boomer. Well, this is that generation. This is their era. Now, the boomer generation occurred from 1939 through 1957, as you can see here. Um, and these are people who, you got to think about it, their parents were effectively the cancer Pluto generation. So, in very similar fashion to that Cancer Pluto element, these are people who were very excited to start families, right? And then when you think about the historical context, you know, these people went and fought World War II, right? Very high and amped up off of this sense of nationalism. The soldiers come home, they get the hunching and smooching on their wives. And once again, that Pluto cancer energy kind of takes into effect because they want to create families of their own. They want to, you know, um, advance the bloodline and their lineage. And next thing you know, there's a surge of children being born, which are the Pluto Leo generation. OK, now when Pluto is in Leo, this kind of gives way to a very, uh, you know, ego focus way of being, right? Which is why the baby boomer generation are known as the me generation, right? These are groups of people who can be very self-absorbed, very arrogant, and they don't do well entertaining divergent points of view. This is why, I mean, partially it's you know, kind of attributed to old people just in general in terms of, you know, when you come across an older person, they may be a lot more set in their ways and a lot more rigid and, you know, less likely to be open to what younger people have to say. But this energy is kind of reinforced with Pluto and Leo because these are people who, much like that Leo element or that Leo energy rather, is very fixed in terms of modality. And these are people who, um, you know, they kind of pick a hill and then die on it. <laughs> now, Pluto is exalted when in Leo, which allows it to yield an incredible amount of power and influence. And this is definitely, it has a lot to do with why this generation, this era ushered in the age of empowerment. These are people, the Pluto, Leo generation, or the baby boomers who actually went on to do some very amazing things. Um, you know, these are also people who are very empowered sexually and even creatively. Uh, even when you're thinking about like the Woodstock Festival that happened in like, what was that? Like the late 60s, 70s. This was your uh, baby boomer generation, right? As they got older, this was the generation that let the charge in unpacking taboos and putting them on full open display. These are people who were very open. Um, unlike their predecessors, they, they were very open in terms of um, reforming and really performing, right? That Leo energy performing their desires on a public stage. So this generation was all about dance, sex, Rock and roll. I mean, rock and roll took a huge surge when Pluto was in Leo. They were even exhibitionists, even when you think about it from uh, the historical context, right? The hippies that were popping in the 60s and the mid to late 60s and early 70s. These were your baby boomers, Pluto, Leo generation, right? They were the type to kind of just let it all hang out, free for all. Now, these were also a group of kids who really sought to distinguish themselves and differentiate themselves from their parents. However, I will say in terms of making a, a distinction, there were 
or you have your Pluto Leo generation individuals who, you know, really embrace these themes wholeheartedly. But then you also have the ones who didn't, who rejected them or repressed them and resented them. Now, ironically, the individuals who chose to suppress these desires, uh, you often tend to find that it, it can create this effect to where as a collective, Pluto Leo individuals tend to demonize these same urges and tendencies um, in other people. So this is another reason why the baby boomers are known and have developed a reputation for being the fun police or people who are rather dogmatic in their views towards fun, recreation, and sex in attempt to control the way in which other people's engage in these pleasures, you know, kind of like, well, you know, it was, it was looked down upon when I did it or, you know, almost even out of like a fear, it's like a compulsion thing to where they project the energy onto, um, other people who they see demonstrating these behaviors, like, ugh. Oh my God, then back in my day, there you guys are letting it all hang out. And I remember when we used to do and uh 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 and uh, nobody has morals. No one has morals. Oh my god, like those type of people. Like I said, to a certain degree, this may or may not apply to a lot of older people, but that baby boomer generation has it really bad. Some of these individuals, especially with when Pluto meets uh, Leo, these are people who could have had their childhoods and childlike natures uh, corrupted or interrupted altogether, which could also lead and kind of aid in that level of jealousy and resentment towards others who embody these qualities, um, you know, freely. And this could even deal with their strong distaste towards the Pluto Scorpio generation or millennials for a very long time growing up. You know, I, I remember baby boomers blaming everything on millennials. This is before Generation Z really kind of uh, uh, took the baton and ran with it. But, you know, and there was even a point to where it would just start grouping everybody in with millennials. Because, you know, when, when you think about that uh, Pluto and it's respected or it's home sign of Scorpio, right? We kind of embody a lot of the qualities that they were conditioned to like be repulsed towards or to fear. And like I said, while you have some of the people as a part of that collective who kind of embraced these themes and ran with it, you do have some who did it and, and who kind of view other people as being less than or beneath, um, beneath them somehow for actually doing the contrary. And once again, taking it back to like historical references, I was watching a documentary where they were talking about during the era, I think this might have been the 50s, I want to say, but basically when the baby boomers were in school, so maybe this was like late 50s, early 60s, um, there was a lot going on in the world in terms of uh, global competition. So there was a very strong push and strong focus on school science and other core subjects in order to have American children be able to academically compete on the world stage with other countries like Russia. Cause I mean, once again, this is post world war two. So this whole like Soviet union thing, right? Where <laughs> people were so preoccupied with where America stood on a global stage and even in comparison to other places like, um, you know, China and so on and so forth, you know, there was a huge kind of competitive factor where it was like, well, their children are doing this and, you know, they're getting these type of jobs. So there was this kind of amp and this, this surge of attention and focus on having American children perform better and be great and go on to do great things so they can compete with their global counterparts, right? Even when it came to science and, um, you know, people exploring space, right? They wanted Americans to lead the charge. And so this was heavily embedded and um, woven into the way that a lot of people in America condition this generation of people, right? This Pluto Leo generation, because you also got to think about that Leo energy is very competitive. 
very competitive and also very, once again, self-aggrandizing. Me, me, me. Look at me. I'm number one, right? So this resulted in this kind of obsessive compulsive drive towards being, like I said, the best, number one, competing with others. It also produced this, if you're not first, you're last type of <laughs> mentality, like Ricky Bobby from Talladega Nights, right? These are people who were very loud and proud, and it could even cause them, or at the time cause them, especially as adults and as they move throughout life, to trend towards extravagance, flamboyance, and even exaggeration. So for example, you know that boomer or that older person who's always telling you this over-the-top grandiose story about how hard they had it, right? You can miss your bus and have to walk two blocks to school and then they say, oh, you think that's something? That ain't nothing. Back in my day, I had to walk 50 miles in a snowstorm with dogs chasing me and uh, such and such going on with no shoes on my feet on broken glass to get to school. Y'all ain't shit. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't had it the way that y'all ain't got it the way we had. Like, okay. <laughs> all right. It's, it's like over the top and like it, it all kind of leads back to this underlying theme of look at me. Right, you're not as good as I am. I mean, look, nobody can really do what I did. Nobody can really do what we did and and have what we had because we were just all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I got a story to top your story and to top that story and to top that story. They are the worst at that. That's very much a, a manifestation of that Pluto Leo energy. Taking things to the extreme, either you're very shiny and sparkling or you're wrong or, you know, it just is unimportant. Now, also, this time period brought about many inventions and innovations. OK, these were brought forth from members of this generation. So a really good example of this is like Steve Jobs. OK, people completely revolutionizing the way that we see the world and really even um, making large gains from investments. Um, you know, a lot of people blowing up in terms of businesses and things like that. If I'm not mistaken, I think Bill Gates is also a part of this Pluto Leo generation. Feel free to uh, fact check me there. But this uh, generation of people did really well with transmuting their creativity and even gaining mass popularity and notoriety for their contributions in the process. And this also kind of ties back into this fascination with celebrity and, um, you know, uh, uh, being kind of well known and, and having the spotlight and celebrated for things and for their contribution, right? This is a generation that loves to have their egos stroked. However, due to an obsession for fame and once again, notoriety, some can't even drink their own Kool-Aid. So you did have people in this era abusing their positions of power and authority. So for example, even like psychologists or authors or certain people who um, were in higher up positions within businesses, right? They would create products or write books or yield services that were very self-serving and just make certain decisions that were very short-sighted and self-serving in order to kind of help boost their image and their public standing and how they feel like they would be received. This also brought about a huge issue in terms of like power struggles, which is the reason why this generation also had a very difficult time in terms of love and romance, okay? These are people who naturally wanted to yield a certain level of control and authority over others, which uh, in, in turn created issues like domestic problems, issues with spouses and children especially, uh, and even the father. A lot of that Pluto Leo generation had problems with the father. A lot of these people came from very strict households to where the father ruled with an iron fist and it almost it created this push and pull clash between um 
the emotions and things that they wanted to express and the norms and values they felt compelled to uphold for tradition's sake. Also, this generation, uh, that Pluto Leo generation can definitely be prone towards narcissism due to an overpowering need to feed that ego gratification once again. So, you know, for this reason, I personally, my personal opinion <laughs> of baby boomers, I just, they're, they're a really annoying to me. Now, I love my grandmother because my grandmother is a part of this generation. She was born in 1947. She's the exception to the rule, but the standard, like baby boomer, y'all can dip. And finally, from a physical standpoint, these are people who are very prone towards having issues with their back and heart. And once again, this is one of those qualities or one of those uh, attributes that can be kind of tricky because especially as we're talking about age-wise, you know, baby boomers are old as fuck. Like all of them should be in retirement by now. A lot of old people got issues with their heart and with their back, but I guarantee you that is a, a huge commonality amongst that Pluto Leo generation. So with that being said, this concludes my video, y'all drop down in the comments. Let me know, are your grandparents a part of that generation? Um, have you experienced anybody a part of this baby boomer slash Pluto Leo generation? If so, what has been your experience? And as always, make sure you practice unconditional self-love so that you can love others. And until the next video, I holla.